Hello folks, welcome back to Nino Cooney. We have made our way through the marshes in the last episode. So today we are going to head straight up to the boss Vileheart, who we was also introduced to in the previous episode. He was having an encounter with the one and only Shadar. And wow, if we just look over here, we can see there's all sorts of bad stuff happening. And it all seems to be culminating down here in the uh, centre, right where our objective marker is. So as you can guess, there's probably something bad going on down here. And if you guessed that, you would be right. So let's go and join the party. And it's Vileheart, the Devourer of Souls. There he is, look, trying to make us jump. Well, he's going to have to work harder than that. Now, this boss isn't particularly hard the way I understand it, but it does have around about 7k hit point marks. So, you're best just going for all-out attack, and be warned, he does like to spam poison. Now, if you have familiars that are resistant to poison, that's great. If you don't, then chances are you're just going to have to keep healing. I wouldn't bother with curing the poison itself because it's just going to get cast again pretty much straight after anyway. So Percy seems to be resistant seeing as how it did miss him. Okay, so just have to watch out for Vile Driver. But it didn't do a whole lot of damage, although it did uh, incapacitate us for a short time. And yet, yeah, I just about managed to avoid that, which means we can once again go for all out attack. Get some damage in, he's down to about 50% health now. There's plenty of uh, dumb things around. Oh, I didn't get to defend on him. Not to worry, we'll nip over to Esther grab some of these lungs before they start disappearing and probably throw a heal or so uh, what can we boost should we boost evasion on the party that could be useful we don't really use defense boosting spells do we Let's switch on back over to Percy now. He's not completely recharged, but he's not far off. Oh, we didn't get defence out in time. Oh, it's only Vile Breath. It's Vile Driver we need to keep an eye out on. Everybody's poisoned again now. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. There we go. Chance, chance, chance. Come on, everybody. Let's finish him off, shall we? Okay, let's grab some uh, orbs. Namely health orbs, to be honest. Okay, Percy's going to need to recharge, but it would be nice if we could kill him before that. I'm guessing we can't. We'll bring out Oliver's tank. We haven't had to do a whole lot of healing to be fair in this fight. Oliver's down to 50% health now. And the boss is dead. So like I said, a fair bit of health but not particularly challenging. We did it! Although if you are under level, then just make sure you stay on top of that poison spell and definitely defend from the vile driver attack. Another bunch of levels, very nice, very nice.
Timberus is getting a very high defence stat now. He's definitely one of the best tank familiars in the game. So make sure Esther has him you as well. Oli boy. Now we can set Alicia free. Yes, and bring your mother back. Mom. This is it, Oliver. Your big moment. Right. Well, this is interesting. Oliver seems to have transported somewhere. But what's going on? Where's his mother? Are we going to free her? We can't open any menus or anything. There's no map. All we can seem to do is just head towards this door. Ah, this place looks familiar indeed. It's Shadar's throne. That's an interesting idea from Alicia, saving Shadar's soulmate. But Shadar seems to be on top of that situation. Surely not. You know you will never return. Not to this time. I am well aware of that. I am ready. Damn you! Today, tomorrow, yesterday! Alicia's travelled to the past? Oh, no, to the future. It's Shadar himself. I'm from somewhere far away. I'm going to take care of you, sweetie. You'll be okay. I know you will. Be good now. For me. Oh no, poor Oliver. So his mother wasn't actually the soulmate of Alicia, but Alicia herself. At least according to Shadar, and I can't imagine he'd be lying about this, to be honest. Going through a bit of a tough time at the moment, isn't he, our Oliver? Okay, so we've taken control of Esther at this particular point. 
and we need to go and find Swain since he seems to have done a runner. I would advise you just save the game at this point since we've gone through a boss, quite a bit of story and whatnot. And we've got another little boss coming up later. So now we have Esther, we're going to head straight out of the south exit of the city. And see where good old Swainy boys got up to. Here he is. Swain. And look who it is again. <laughs> Vile Heart has returned, only this time we've only got Esther and Swain to play with. But don't worry, because we're going to cut back to Motorville. Tell me, Mom. Everything I went through, was it all for nothing? <gasps> Who's there? P. How did you get in here? Easy peasy. I can go anywhere I like. I told you before, I'm always here, Oliver, looking after you. I... I couldn't save my mom. Everything I've been through, it was all for nothing. Hmm. No, it wasn't. Huh? You gave something special to all those people. Are you ready, Oliver? Close your eyes. No peeping. OK. Hang on. Stop working so bleeding hard, will you? You're making me look bad. But I've never felt so full of beans. To think, back then I could barely muster the energy to get out of bed. <laughs> Things really have changed around here, haven't they? King Tom's got more enthusiasm than he knows what to do with these days. You're not wrong. It's like a whole new place. And we owe it all to that young lad. Those are the guards from Ding Dong Dell. They were the very first people you ever helped. One of them was broken hearted. I remember. There's more. <laughs> Listen. Uh, Hickory docks up to his old tricks. One shall soon knock some sense into the scoundrel. Guess what, Miss Layla? My dad got up early to cook breakfast, and that's not all. Do take some more, won't you? There is enough in the palace larder for everyone. <laughs> we don't always require third helpings, you know. Miss Liz, who can tell their dear old mom what a fairy can't be doing without? Yes, you by there. What's that? Oh, dead wrong you are. It's love dead. It? <laughs> The reason as fairies are so cute is to give them humans a proper life. Oliver's magic may still be somewhat unpolished. He may still have some way to go to equal our prowess. But I believe in him. I believe in his gift. Keep up, Genghis. You gotta pick up the pace, boy. Hey, don't tug the leash. Listen, men. From this day, we fly once more. And we do not fight for any kingdom. We fight for all who stand against Shaddaa. There is no cause for fear. Know that I will always stand beside you. I will protect you from the wrath of Shaddaa. So this piston goes here. And this one goes there. Ah, I feel like my brain's gonna explode. But I'm gonna crack this. You see if I don't. The one who heals the brokenhearted. The savior of this world of sadness. I'm talking about you, sweetie. You were the one who was there for them all. It was you who healed their hearts. I'm so proud of you, my Oliver. Everyone was. It was... Oh, you see, Oliver? You gave something special to all those people. 
was me. It was me who... Thank you. Thank you, P. <laughs> You're welcome. I've got to go. There are people who need me. Yay! Oliver, that's your gift. That's your power. The power of your heart. And we've now unlocked the true power of Mornstar. Seeing as how Oliver has uh, awakened in his true knowledge of what he's really done for people. And the Mornstar spell is a powerful ability we can cast in battle. Really all you've got? <laughs> so now... We can't do this. Not on our own. <laughs> it's time to bring this charade to an end. Yes, let's finish this. Huh? Oliver! <laughs> Mornstar! <laughs> Sorry, I got held up. Oliver! <laughs> I thought you'd never get here. <laughs> you will pay Esther, for this! Sway! Let's pull together! <laughs> Let's show him the power of our hearts! <laughs> Now that we have Mornstar, this battle should be a fairly easy pushover. I did forget to mention, actually, in the last battle, that you should try and steal the barrier badge with Swain, which is a pretty awesome uh, badge. So, now we're just going to go straight down to Mornstar. And it does take a while to cast, so it can be interrupted if you're unlucky. But, look at that, 470 points of damage. And the boss is already more than half dead. He does have the same sort of abilities. Only this time, he only has about half the hit points. There we go. Look. Oh, not quite dead. Not quite. Oliver got frozen, unfortunately. Now, you can steal a Jumbo Star Drop if you wish to off the boss this time. Did we get it? I don't know, actually, because the boss died. We won! And he didn't tell us. Maybe it's, maybe mugshot doesn't work if you kill the boss with it. But we get another 3,000 experience points for a very easy battle. And another cocktail of levels as well. Uh, he can't learn darkness beckons. What's going on? Go on, then get rid of Blunt, because that we, so that we just don't use anyway. Yeah, Oliver's back with the party. He's got the powerful Mornstar spell. So I guess he's filled Swain and Esther in now with the full details of what he has learned. <laughs> now I think that would just get things a little bit uh, too confusing then, wouldn't it? Although I have to be honest, it did cross my mind at one point, but then I realised that P's got green hair. And Alicia hasn't. So we actually want to visit Shadar's castle now. And we want to go to Nevermore. Well, that's interesting. I think we'll need to rest up and save up before we make any kind of progress like that. So we'll go to the Cat's, Adle, uh, cat's Cradle Inn for a moment. And we do just need to return to the marshes in order to reach our next destination, but we don't have to run through them this time. 
I'm just going to check to see if we can actually teleport to the marshes now that we've visited it by foot. Let's first uh, travel out of here. I mean, if we can't, we're going to have to run out of the northern exit again, but hopefully it'll be on our travel list. I don't know why I came out of here, to be honest. There we go, looks right at the bottom of the list. And I said that we won't have to run through the marshes, and that is because there should hopefully be a warp spot right around here somewhere. There we go. I guess if you don't want to go to the Cat's Cradle Inn and have to go through the whole resting routine, you can just use the Waystone Marker that is present uh, as you teleport into the marshes itself. But now, we just want to head a few steps northwestward up this ramp and into the castle. Castle Nevermore, in fact. And by the way, this place is tough, so don't come here until you're leveled up. You'll definitely want to be about level 50 plus at this point in the game to make this area manageable. And we have a nice waystone marker, so a good place to finish, I think. By all means, go in and see how difficult the enemies are to make sure you can handle them. If you can't, then just cast Vacate to come to the entrance of the dungeon, and then travel to Perdida to uh, hunt down the Toko Tokos I showed you in the Billy's Goat's Bluff region. That'll level you up nicely to at least level 52, 53, maybe even more than that. And we'll carry on next time with Castle Nevermore. So thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Please subscribe to the channel and share these videos with your friends. That really does help me. And I will see you next time for more Nino Cooney. Bye for now, everybody. Take care.